Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. So today we are going to look at an effect which involves creating explosion of objects in the form of clothes with a lot of tears. It's a very cool effect and I wanted to make it as procedural as possible. So I am presenting you with the setup today. If you can, don't hesitate to subscribe and give me a like if you enjoy my work. Of course, as usual, you can find the complete file on my Patreon along with all my other projects and exclusive content or you can get it directly from Gumroad. And of course, the last thing, this effect you Typeflow and Phoenix. Okay, let's go. Okay, so now we are in 3ds Max and the first thing we are going to do as usual is to check the unit setup. So I go here in customize, unit setup, and we can see that we are in centimeter by centimeter, so it's perfect. Okay, so now what we can do is just import the mesh we want for the explosion. So of course we can import your mesh, create a volume as you want, and, but for me, for this tutorial, I will just use a geosphere. So, I will go here, geosphere in the center, like this, I think, okay. We can see here that we don't have a lot of subdivision, and it's very important to have a high level for this effect to work, so I will increase the subdivision here, Okay, I think it's good like this. So now what we want to do is to create the explosion with tie flow to create the impact point on the sphere. So I will go here and add the tie flow setup. Open editor, create a burst. Just move the windows here, activate the layer. Okay, I have here the geosphere and the tie flow setup. I can now just deactivate the geosphere and I will now add a position object. So, position object here and pick the geosphere. Okay, you can see that we don't see the point for the moment, just this blue dot. We'll go here in burst. And what we want, we want maybe a start to zero, a end to 50. And maybe. And maybe a total of 15 for the impact point. Okay. I think it's good like this. I will now add the shape. For the shape, I will go here, select 3D, mm, just for mid res. Activate the scale, change the display to geometry, and now we will see the sphere. Okay. I will just activate the geosphere to see where the points are on my sphere don't want the wireframe, alt x to see through the sphere, okay, I will just go back to shape, size and increase the scale, so maybe 400, perfect, okay, so here I can see the impact point, if I want to change I can go here in position object, go down in the menu and play with the seed, just change the color to see it better, maybe a yellow, okay. So here the impact point. You can of course change to have the look you want for the impact point. So maybe like this, great. The size of the sphere will have a big impact on the final look of the simulation. So if you want, you can just duplicate here the geosphere and maybe change a bit the scale so maybe 600 650 with lot of variation we'll do the same here for this one lot of variation too okay it's great so here i will have big and small impact perfect now what i want to do is to create other sphere from each one to have big explosion, more detail in the explosion. So I will add a spawn. Spawn in once, go down in the menu, go to spawn 100% of course, and increase the offspring. Link this spawn to a speed, like this. And here you can see the creation of the explosion. Maybe the magnitude of the speed is too high, so I will decrease the value to maybe 0 
add bit divergence. Yeah, I think it's cool like this. What I love to do too is to play with the position of the impact point on my object. So I can go here in position, activate surface offset. And for the mean, I will maybe set a value of minus four. You can see that now the position is more inside my object. So maybe minus five and the max to minus one. You can of course go up if you want to create explosion outside your object, but for me, I think it's cool like this. So you can see here all the explosion. It's very cool. Now what I want to do is to delete the explosion maybe after 10 frames. So I will add a time test. Time test, of course, here. Copy past instance. And link these two time tests to a delete. So here and here. Great. Maybe... 12 okay so you can see we have the explosion and after we have the delete maybe the speed is too low so i will maybe go to 0 0.4 with small variation 25 okay i think it's good like this okay it's good like this now it's enough for the type of setup i will just go here in the type of one go to interface and activate enable particle interface it's very important after for the creation of the phoenix simulation okay so now we'll now move to the phoenix simulation so i will now create a phoenix simulator go to front view like this maybe increase the value of the grid 260 260 260 mm, i think it's too much 150, 150, 150. Yes, got the view, left, front. Okay, so it's very important that your grid totally wrap your object. So, no, in grid we have nothing to change here. We can go to dynamics. Dynamics, we don't need the gravity. For the massive vorticity, I will increase the value 0 0.4. Increase the quality of the fluidity 50. Nothing here, here, here. For the output, of course, you have to check that you have the grid velocity to activate because it will be used after in the second type of simulation to import the data of the explosion. Okay. So, output is good. Input nothing. Go to preview. And in preview, enable the gpu preview okay now what you want to do is to create the phoenix source just here for the phoenix source i will go up here and add click on add and select my type setup type one okay i don't need temperature i will just increase just a bit the noise to have some randomness in the explosion so 0 0.1 is a good value, basically, I think. And we will very increase the outgoing velocity to have a big explosion. Maybe a value between 100 and 200. Basically, 150 is a good value. Okay, so I think it's good like this for the parameter. Now we will launch the simulation. So of course, I deactivate the geosphere. I only want my Typhlow 1 simulation and of course the phoenix fire and the phoenix source just before launch we'll just see the resolution oh just one thing i forgot here you have the step per frame don't forget to increase the step per frame to a value of two because it would be better for the quality of your explosion okay i can now go up in the menu go to grid and here you can see the total voxel. Basically, a value between 5 million and 10 million is enough. So I will just go to 0 0.5. It's too much. 0 0.7. Okay, good like this. I can now launch the simulation.
Okay, so I think it's good like this for the smoke simulation. As you can see, we have here the explosion. It's also a very cool way if you want to create smoke explosion. Just have to deactivate here the type flow just to see the explosion. It's very cool. Okay, so now we'll just deactivate the type flow, the Phoenix source, go to frame zero. Go back to the type flow setup, open editor, and I will now create another type flow setup. So I will add a brush object, pick my object, so my geosphere here, you can see the object, convert to close bind, I don't want the display, okay, now I will add a fleet force here pick the phoenix fire 01 here for the influence i love to increase a bit the value so maybe 150 go here replace don't change nothing okay i cannot go back to my close bind for the binding stiffness 0 0.5 0 0.5 and also 0 0.5 for the band open the cheering menu I can activate enable close tiering. Okay. For the stretch, I will just add a bit variation. So 15. For the progressive weakness, maybe decrease the value to one. I think it's better with the value to one, but I will just add small variation, 25. For the tier limits, I want a lot of steps. So I will increase the value to 200. It's enough. And for the max distance, increase the distance, maybe 300. Okay. So I have my brush object, my fit force, and my close bind with the tearing activated. Okay. I can now move forward in the simulation to see what we have. Okay, great. You can see that the effect works. It's very cool like this, just the beginning for the moment. We can see that we have strange effect here, but we'll fix that, it's very easy. Okay. Okay, so if you just want to configure the effect, you can just keep here the time step to frame, but after, for better simulation, my opinion is to increase the value, the time step to one four. Yeah, one four. Of course, it will take more time to simulate, but you will have a better simulation at the end. Okay, so. Okay, so I will, for me it's good, so I will change the value to 1.4. As you can see, we have the explosion, but we don't have a good simulation. We don't have a lot of details, so I will increase the number of subdivision of my geosphere. So I can go back to the geosphere and maybe up to, I will double the value, 120. Okay, great. I think it's good for all the value. Now we'll just move forward in the timeline. Maybe, yeah. So of course we have to wait for the calcul of the simulation, but it's not too long. Whoa, that's amazing. It's very beautiful as you can see. We have a very cool look here. Okay, so it's very cool, but you can see that we have strange look here and I will show you how to fix that. It's very easy. So I click on my type to setup. I will just add a tie relax. So tie relax here and change here the relax all vertice to relax vertice on closed edge. Increase, of course, the iteration and decrease the amount to 0 0.2. And as you can see, now it's very, very smooth here, but it keeps all the details here in the explosion. You can see before, after. It's great. What I love to do too is to add a turbo smooth. Whoa, it's very great like this. I love the explosion, it's very cool. The combo Tie Flow and Phoenix, it's a very good mix to create beautiful explosion like this. I love this one. 
Okay guys, so that's all for this tutorial. I hope you've learned a lot of things. Don't hesitate to give me a thumb up if you like my work. You can of course find the complete source file on my Patreon or get them directly from Gumroad. You can also follow me if you want on Instagram or Beyond. See you very soon for a new tutorial guys. Bye.